Hi everybody, this is Dr. Bricker here with an introduction video for EAS 120 for the fall 2024 semester. In this video, I kind of want to just go over the syllabus, show you where things are located uh, in the class, get you off to a good start. So I've logged into uh, Brightspace, and it should look something like this, although you'll, have, you'll see an announcement here because I'm going to make an announcement after I finish making this video. A uh, couple things before you even get started with this. You want to make sure you're on uh, the correct time zone, and maybe you want to set up some notifications. So I'm just clicking on my name here, uh, account settings. I'm not sure what the default is. It might be on Eastern time, so you want to be on Central time. So if you scroll down here a little bit, you can choose uh, Central time. So I've already done that. So make sure you do that. And also um, notifications. Maybe you want to be notified when different things happen in the class. Again, I'm not sure what, what the default is, but here's a few uh, things that I have checked. So I get notifications via email. So, uh, you know, maybe if there's an announcement you want to be notified via email that that's happened, that would probably be a good one to check. Um, so, you know, go through here, whatever ones you think you should have checked, go ahead and do that. Okay, and I've already done that before. All right, let me go back to Course Home, and then uh, while I'm on this home page, there's a little calendar here of things that are due. So uh, Monday the 25th, you have the first homework set due, and also, um, sorry, that's Sunday the 25th, first homework set due, same thing with the quiz. Okay, more about that in just a few minutes. So things are generally due on Sunday night, so you have the weekend to kind of take a look at that. I know a lot of people work, and... Uh, Hopefully the weekend works out well for you. Okay, so if you go to content, you'll see a few things here. The syllabus, which I've already clicked on, and it comes up here. Also, um, bookmarks, course schedule, those are things that you could utilize if you want to. I don't, I don't utilize those. Uh, mastering geography, intro video, week one. So all these modules are available uh, to you. And as the semester goes on, there'll be week two, week three, et cetera, all the way through week 16. Okay, so let's take a look at the syllabus. Okay, again, so this is EAS 120, Intro to Geography. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Glenn Bricker. I'm uh, based in Westville, so my office there is uh, 307 in the Shores building. Best way to get in contact with me probably is just to, to send me an email. We could set up a Zoom meeting if you want to. Or if, if you happen to be out on Westville, you could stop, stop by. I'm uh, there pretty much on Mondays and Wednesdays and also Thursdays. But, you know, just send me an email if you want to actually come in to see me. If not, we could do a Zoom meeting. Uh, description of the course, uh, three, hour, three credit hours, origins of the Earth, solar system, evolution and history of Earth forms, uh, geological processes, things like rivers, uh, glacial movement, things like that. History of life and its interdependence with the Earth are discussed. Um, climate change, things like that. Solar system, Earth processes, all those things. So really it's about... Uh, mostly about the earth i think you're going to hopefully learn some new things maybe you've heard a lot of this before uh, but hopefully this will be in a little uh, maybe a deeper way of thinking about it so the book is uh, elementary elemental geosystems with modified mastering so it's the e-text and uh, the homework more about that in just a minute uh, actually maybe now is a good time to actually take a look at that so yeah let's uh, let's take a look at the textbook so the directions for accessing the textbook are on the very last page of the syllabus. So let me scroll down here. Uh, first, uh, open uh, your Pearson content. So this is the way to access the book. Log into uh, Brightspace, uh, select the Mastering Geography module, and then select any link in the module. And if you're prompted to do so, open Pearson, and then uh, select Open uh, My Lab and Mastering to go to the uh, course home page or select a link under there so just sort of follow through that okay and then you need to link your brightspace and pearson account so uh, it might automatically happen for me i had to actually click a box that said okay now uh, once you do that you uh, enter the code from instructional materials access i'll show you where that's at uh, that's if you not have not opted out of the 299 flat fee so if you have not opted out of it you should have access to this material. I'll show you where, where you get the code. Now, if you have opted out of that, you're going to have to uh, purchase the materials. 
the least expensive way is to get it directly f through Pearson. So uh, you could try finding a code somewhere online, um, but I found that the least expensive way is to get it directly through Pearson. That way you you'll not accidentally get the wrong product. Um, okay, so um, enter a prepaid access code that came with your textbook or from the bookstore. So if you haven't opted out, you know I'll show you where to get the code. I guess if you go to the bookstore, you could try to buy the code there. But again, the least expensive way, sorry I'm saying it a lot, but uh, just to emphasize it, is directly through Pearson if, in fact, you need to buy a code. Uh, use a credit card or PayPal. Um, now, if you don't have the funds right now, you can get 14 days access, I think it is, temporary access. So at the very bottom of, of that page where you pay, there's a little link. They make it small so you don't see it. I don't know why they do that. Uh, so it's harder to see. Anyway, it's there. You could get temporary access if you don't have the funds. Um, so for 14 days, you can still access this. So there's no need to wait. Get in right away. You have got the 14-day uh, option. Okay. Uh, need assistance. Here's a browser requirements set up. Just make sure that your uh, browser is up to date. Chrome seems to work the best. Okay. So let me show you how you actually do this. Okay, so I went back to uh, content. You hit uh, Mastering Geography. This is where the e-text, the homework, some additional materials are located. So Mastering Geography. Um, I would just hit Access Pearson. Now I've already gone through this, so it's not going to look exactly the same. But when you hit uh, Access Pearson, that's where the steps on the last page of the syllabus come into play. But again, I've already done that, so I don't uh, need to do that. Now, if you have not opted out of the uh, 299 thing here, let me show you where, the, where you get your code. So, uh, Course Home, Instructional Materials Access. This will look a little bit different for you because you have different books than I do. And then uh, this is uh, Modified Mastering Geography. I've got these other ones because I've got other classes. For some reason on mine, it gives me Mastering Geography twice, but it's the same thing. I'll have to let them know about that. So you click here, and then here's the code that you need, so you can copy it to the clipboard. Now you'll need that code when, I'm going back here, you, uh, you've gone to Content, Mastering Geography, Access Pearson, then you'll have to go through all the steps. You know, uh, you probably already have a Pearson account. You need to link it here. It's just a matter of uh, pressing a button, and then... Um, you know, purchase option. Now, if you've got the code, this is the place where you'll actually use it. Um, if you don't have a code, you can get the temporary access or you could you could buy it uh, directly at that point. Okay, so now once you've done all that, you should have uh, access to the e-text. So I've put this all here in the Mastering Geography uh, module. So access Pearson, Pearson e-text, study area, all this stuff is there. Let me just click access Pearson. Whoops. And it looks something like this because uh, I've already gone through it. Open my lab and mastering. Again, yours will look a little bit different. So don't go to like masteringgeography.com. Do this all through uh, Brightspace. And here's where everything is kind of located. I gave you a link for it in the uh, module, but you could just go all, all the way here to get the e text, the study area. You could actually take a look at the homework here. I'll provide links for the homework in in the weekly sub modules or in the weekly modules, but um, this is where this stuff is all located. Uh, the study area is kind of neat. There's practice quizzes, things like that in it. So um, I usually tell you, like for quiz one, make sure you go through the the uh, practice quiz in the uh, study area. So this is what I'm talking about. There's a practice quiz here. Okay. So, uh, Essentials of, Geog of Geography, that's the first chapter. So here's a bunch of information for the first uh, chapter. And here's the uh, practice quiz. Okay, so this is not for points. This is kind of a study guide. So whenever you, um, if, whenever you have a quiz, I would definitely go through the practice quiz first. It'll definitely help you out a lot. Okay, let's go back to the uh, content area. Okay, again, so I've clicked Mastering Geography here, and here's everything that's in the Mastering Geography uh, 
module. Again, first time you go through, you'll have to put all your information in. But after that, you should have access then to the e-text study area. Or if you want to hit Access Pearson and see everything at once over there, you can either way. Um, maybe we should continue then with the syllabus. But just to let you see, uh, week one module is available. You can't see these yet, but you, you will when I make them available. So week one, please read chapter one. Take a look at the chapter one PowerPoint. Here's some learning goals for chapter one. So I click the uh, chapter one module, and you see uh, what's located here. A little description. There's a chapter one PowerPoint. You can take a look at that. Chapter one review. Here's a link to the first homework. Here's a link to the first quiz. So it doesn't actually start till August 22nd, which I believe is uh, Thursday of the first week of class. And then you have until midnight um, on Sunday to, to complete that. Okay, so more information about that during the week. Okay, let's take a look at the syllabus again. Okay, so the textbook, you it's an e-text. Uh, it comes with the homework. You know how to get to that now. Um, some educational outcomes. Uh, designed to provide a brief intro to earth science. So really it's an earth science class. I think a lot of people think geography, we're going to be looking at a bunch of maps the whole time, but it's really an earth science uh, book. Or, you know, that's the content of it. So hopefully you'll develop an understanding of basic characteristics, history, and processes of the earth. So my PhD is in physics, that's why I'm teaching this class. So it's, uh, you know, it's sort of an earth science slash physics type class. Uh, not a whole bunch of uh, difficult math or anything like that, so don't let that worry you. Actually, the prerequisites are just uh, Math 111 here or Math 115, so you don't have to have calculus or anything like that. So it's not a math-intensive class. Okay, so uh, lots to do with, with uh, processes of the Earth, and you'll see that when we take a look at the schedule. Okay, so take a look through this. Here's additional resources and academic support for you. Just know that this is available. Accessibility, mental health and wellness. There's a counseling center website. So all this information has been collected and put here for you. So, you know, um, maybe you'll never look at this again. Maybe you'll think, oh, uh, mental health awareness, let me check into that. Basic need security, maybe you want to check into that. But it's all here for you, just so you keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, here's uh, university policies. So you can take a look through those. Uh, homework are available through Mastering Geography, which is accessed through Brightspace. And in general, there's a homework assignment per week or so. There's a couple of times where there's two homework assignments, but they're a little bit shorter. And you'll see that with the schedule. Now, attendance policy, you're not required to attend at a prescribed time. So it's not like you have to meet with me Monday at 1 o'clock or something like that. You, uh, you have deadlines, you know, in the first quizzes, the, the first homework assignment. Um, but you work at your own pace. You just have to keep in mind that you do have deadlines, so you have to go through the material by a certain time to be prepared to take the quiz and do the homework. And then when the, when the exams are, you'll have to have you know, done the work to that point. But as far as meeting with me, you don't meet with me at a specific time. I give you all the information, and uh, if you do want to meet with me, send me an email. We could set up a... A Zoom meeting, but um, you work on you you know when the, when the time's available to you. Okay. Um, grading policy. Here's uh, here's the grading scheme. Um, so I do use plus and minus grades, and this is as mo the most difficult it will be. If a whole bunch of people have like an eighty nine point three, I would maybe make that an A minus. I'm not saying I would, but if a whole bunch of people do, so this is the uh, most rigorous it would possibly be, but it could be a little bit more relaxed than this. Okay, so here's where you get your points. Exam 1, uh, September 22nd. Exam 2, you can see all the dates here. So each of those exams, there's four of them, are worth 20% of your grade. Exam 4, it's during uh, finals week. It just covers the last quarter or so of the class. Uh, quizzes are 10% of your overall grade, and then homework is 10% uh, of your overall grade. Now, if you know something it has come up, um, sorry, I couldn't do the homework uh, for whatever reason. If you can let me know, you know, at the time or before, hey, can I get in a couple more days with that? That'll be no problem. 
Same thing with the quizzes. I know you're busy, you're working, you've got other classes. If you need some sort of extension, you know, let me know. Don't let me know two weeks after it's due. Hey, can I go back and do this? Let me know at the time. Okay? And as far as the homework goes, if it's a day late, you get 10% uh, off the, the maximum amount of points for the ones that you haven't done. Uh, two days late is 20% off. Three days, it's 30%. All the way to five days late, 50% off. It never gets less than that. So if you forget to do half of homework three, a month later you can go back and do it and still get you know half the credit for the ones that you haven't done yet. Okay, uh, quizzes don't work like that. Quizzes are due when they're due, but if you need more time, let me know and I can uh, do an extension for you. Okay, so you see when the exams are due too. Uh, no extra credit assignments are, are given, and uh, as I said, homework gets 10% penalty late per day, maximum of 50. That just applies to homework. Quizzes are due when they're due. Okay, so this is a distance learning class. There are PowerPoint presentations I make available to you. There's a whole bunch of different videos from the class. I try to keep up um, on, uh, you know, communicating with you, make sure that you do this, do the practice quiz, things like that. Okay, very nice. Uh, so it is an online class. You have to have access to to uh, the web. Um, if you don't at your house, you've got to go to campus or somewhere else and get access to it. You can't say, like, I don't have uh, the internet for three weeks. I'm, let me make everything up. Uh, you have to have access to the internet. Now, I know from time to time, unexpected things happen. They happen to me, too. Uh, a tree fell on the internet cable, and it's been out for three days or something like that. I mean, that's okay, but, but you can't have prolonged um, absences from the web. Okay, very good. And then here's the schedule. This is the first week of class introduction. So we just start with chapter one, and then homework one and quiz one are due. You saw on the, in the calendar. And then in the, here's week two. So we go into solar energy, seasons, atmosphere. The following week, atmospheric energy, uh, ocean circulation, water, atmospheric water. So really processes concerning with the earth. So during the fifth week, we have the first exam. So that's a little bit of a busy week. You have homework five, quiz five, and exam one. So um, uh, more about that, these things, specifically exam one, when it gets closer to the time. And then we go into the, the next quarter of the class. Uh, water resources, climate regions, climate change. So we do two chapters that week, but those are subjects that are related to each other, so it's not as bad as it might seem. Uh, the dynamic planet, uh, chapter 10 then, earthquakes, volcanism, so really cool stuff. I think you're going to like it. We've got some really fun videos for those too. Um, okay, and then we've got exam two, so this is uh, turning into the fall now. Uh, leaves are changing colors. Hopefully it's not too cold yet. Um, sort of towards the end of October then, uh, week 10, 11, 12, rivers, oceans, wind processes, so sort of related to each other. Uh, exam three, and then uh, the last quarter of the ch of the class here, uh, glacial landscapes, geography of soils, Thanksgiving week, there's nothing due, so that's kind of nice. Um, and then uh, first week of December, so-called dead week, we've got a couple of chapters, quiz 15 and uh, homework 15. And then the last exam, which is just over the last quarter of the class, is during uh, finals week. So it looks like I have made it available Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Or I will. Okay, and then the very last page again uh, of the syllabus, instructions for mastering geography. Okay, let me go back to the class. Okay, so what should you do now? Uh, we've gone through the syllabus. You could take a look at the syllabus too. Your uh, first thing you should do is access the e-text so you can uh, take a look through the the chapter, that's how you can actually access the homework. You can't get the homework until you, you know, um, register for this uh, Mastering Geography. So how do you do that? Just quickly let me summarize. Hit Mastering Geography and then hit Access Pearson and then go through those steps. Now if you have not opted out of the 299 before you've done this, go to um, um, Instructional Materials Access and get that code. Now if you have opted out, You'll either have to uh, buy it now or you can get the 14-day 
free trial. Once you do that, you can take a look at the e-text study area. Uh, start with week one. That's where we're going to be at. Essentials of Geography. Here's the PowerPoint. Now you can take a look at the PowerPoint before you actually uh, access the textbook. Same thing with this uh, chapter one review. And then here's the homework and then here's the quiz. Now you won't be able to get to the quiz until it starts on the 22nd. Yeah, but the homework you can take a look and see what it kind of looks like. Again, this is after the homework you have to uh, have gone through the Master in Geography setup. Okay, so it looks like we've got in the first chapter 15 questions. So uh, let's just take a look at one of these. So it's a multiple choice question. So um, the way that this works, um, you know, you can't like, uh, I know some math lab thing will let you like, answer it incorrectly, give me another question, and they'll give you a, a similar question, and you can get all the points. With this, it doesn't work like that. You have to, uh, you know, go through and and answer them correctly. Um, there's no uh, ability to just get another question if you've answered it wrong. Okay, and you can take a look at the available hints. You're not penalized for that. And uh, if you want to review this, uh, you know, you look at this, I don't remember. I need to look at the book. If you hit review here, it'll take you to the e-text, and you can take a look at it. Okay, so you can go through this at your own pace. You don't have to complete it all in one sitting. You could work on a little bit of it, come back and look at some of it uh, again. So as long as you, I think, go through the read the chapter, take a look at the PowerPoint. This shouldn't be too hard for you because it comes really right from the from the class, from the materials given. Okay. Okay, going back to the content area. So you, that, that's, you see everything in that uh, chapter. Um, there's not a video sub-module here. I think in week two is when there's some more uh, videos available to you. Okay, if you have any questions, just email me. Uh, get off to a good start. Don't wait till the last minute. Now, don't spend like five hours trying to uh, register for Mastering Geography. Uh, put a good effort into it. You have, if you run into some kind of problem, let me know. They've kind of switched the system around a little bit, so I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. I was able to get into it smoothly, but you never know what might happen. Okay, uh, again, email me if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.